What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Captain America, Soldiers of AIM, the Soldier of AIM. And uh, I, to be honest with you, this is one of the best figures in the, in the wave, in my opinion. And uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way first. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this figure. Obviously, it's a uh, very nicely sculpted, uh, I mean, completely different. I mean, a lot of people have been waiting for this figure to come out, and finally we have it. Just wanted to get that out of the way before I start the review. Um, but as far as packaging goes, here is the packaging. As you've seen in the other couple of reviews I've done, focus. Uh, says Captain America up top. Not going to spend too much time on this. Says Marvel Legends Infinite Series, a Soldier of Aim. Here's the uh, the uh, running change here or variant. Uh, you get the Soldier of Aim or Baron Zemo or Zemo, and it's obviously the Mandroid wave. And there's what Mandroid will look like when you're done. Okay, get that out of the way. Let's bring the figure back in here. It does come with two guns here. One is a rifle, as you can see there. I'm getting close here with the rifle. Very futuristic looking rifle here. And he can hold it and hold the uh, the gun with two hands. Just so you know. He also comes with a sidearm pistol, which is a futuristic looking pistol. Pretty cool looking. There you go. And he comes with a bandolier here. I believe that's what it's called with some grenades on here. Uh, a little funny though, they decided to paint these, uh, <laughs> these, the, these grenades in the front, but decided not to paint the ones in the back. I, I, mean, I don't know, maybe they just got lazy, <laughs> but whatever. I mean, it still works. I don't believe, hold on, let me just take a look. I don't want to say it. No, it's not removable. I mean, I guess if you really want it off, I guess you could pop the head off and then pop this off, but. I don't know really why you would want to do something like that. I would just leave it on. But as far as articulation goes, let me get that out of the way. His head does move side to side. It can look up. Oh, I'm moving the torso, sorry. And it does look down nicely. So there you go. Oh, and the head popped off. There we go. That happens all the time. And uh, so it does, it can do a full 360. His arms go up about that far. Not the best range of motion going up, but there's a lot of sculpting going on that hinders. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He's got a wrist swivel, wrist hinge. He's got a nice ab crunch, which works well. And he does have a waist swivel. T jointed hips, which go out, forward, and back. Not the best range of motion going out, but the, like I said, the sculpting I think is hindering it a little bit. Uh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, mine's a little stiff, sorry. Uh, I don't believe he's got a boot swivel, no, no boot swivel. But he does have an ankle hinge and that nice ankle pivot. So there you go. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is definitely one of the best in the wave, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of new sculpting that we haven't seen before um the boots look really cool they definitely look like uh cowboy boots here <laughs> pretty cool just want to go throughout the figure and just show you the sculpting out uh, nicely sculpted pants here i mean they really spent some time on this figure to really give us a nice really good aim soldier here Really does look good. Um, he might be coming off, now I'm looking through the camera here. He's coming off a little bit lighter in the yellow, but in person he's a little bit darker, which makes it look much better. So so he looks probably a lot better in, in hand. Uh, really good sculpting on the head. Let me just pop that head off. You can definitely see some mesh going on there, and it's all sculpted. Really just looks really good. It, Hasbro did a really good job in this figure. This might be the best figure in the wave, to be honest with you. With the sculpting and just everything. He's got a nice uh, sculpted collar going around here. They really did, like I said, spend some time to give us a good aim soldier. And it's good for army building. So if you wanted to pick this up, you could. Now I believe he is not the variant. I believe Baron Zemo or Zemo is the variant. 
But he does hold his rifle very nicely. Don't have a problem in either hand, either hand I should say. Oh, come on, there we go. <laughs> As I say, you don't have a problem, I have a problem. Uh, but there you go, he holds in both hands. So if you wanted to do that. And like I said, he holds uh, both guns in both hands nicely. I had him holding it in the left, but there's uh, there it is again. And there's the left. I had him holding it in the left to begin with, but uh, but other than that, I think he's a really good figure. Uh, I'm gonna try and chop this review down to a a quick one because the last two were were pretty or yeah, two were pretty long, like 11 minutes. So sorry about that, guys. I know a lot of people don't like long reviews, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> really good figure. Um, definitely, I think he might be the best in the wave, to be honest with you. And uh, I, I mean, kudos to to Hasbro here. This is a really good AIM soldier, and a lot of people have been waiting for this guy to come out. And I'm glad, because uh, he is a Captain America. I guess uh, Captain America does run into AIM here and there. And... Uh, <laughs> They, they, uh, so it's nice to have him in my rogues gallery, I guess, if you want to call it that, uh, for Cap. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely going to rate this figure pretty well. If I had to rate him, I'm probably going to give him a 9.5. I think this is a really well done figure. There's not, there's no problems really with this figure, to be honest with you. I think it's one of the best, if not the best in the wave. So there you go. There's my recommendation. Two thumbs up. Go pick them up if you want. If you want to. And uh, yeah. So that's it for the uh, my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Soldier of Aim. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.